Hey everybody, welcome to today's lesson. It's the A minor add nine arpeggio. This is part of my quick lick series, but I'm making this little mini lesson too, because this is quite a beautiful sound. You've probably heard it a lot in gypsy jazz. So I'm gonna just kind of show you how I approach playing in this flavor. Typically it's called an add nine, but it's really an add two. So in this case, is it a scale or an arpeggio? I'll let you decide. Uh, I'm gonna call it an arpeggio. <laughs> using my thumb, you can use your pick. This is an A minor add nine chord shape. I'm gonna show that to you. We have A minor, just your cowboy chord, you know. So the quick trick is to find the octave and go up a whole step to the nine. Okay, now refinger it. I know it's kind of a big stretch. A minor add nine. So we're gonna achieve that arpeggio, you know, by doing this. Okay, so I'll do that slowly. There's an A minor six nine. Here's an A minor add nine chord up here. Okay, if you wanna be very pure about it. I like to add the major seven in, kind of stairway-ish. I like to add the six in, <laughs> but I love that nine. So what I'm saying is you could be doing this arpeggio over any type of A minor sound, um, even like a sharp five. Then move to D minor. start to use it for improvisation. It's very beautiful, very dark, very mysterious. Again, I'm always talking about how, you know, if you like a particular chord flavor, play it as an arpeggio or a scale fragment to get the same sound. Where in this case, I love that A minor add nine chord. I'm gonna, you know, play the arpeggio and then D minor add nine. Okay, so let me break this down for you. Specifically with fingering, then we can talk about picking. We have A, B, C. Okay, and I often like to go. Very kind of, again, gypsy jazz. Now, don't do this. Get your first finger there. That's very important. The shift. Is that? Visualize that fifth. And then now you're right here. And then if you wanted to. Get the fifth there into that as a pickup note. Okay, and that's where, of course, I write out etudes, as you already know, and I piece these ideas and licks together into a solo. 